Now to the Johnny Depp defamation trial and closing arguments about to get underway this morning after Amber Heard returned to the stand with emotional testimony. Trevor Alt is here with more on this trial. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Michael. You know, with millions of people watching live every day in this trial, it very quickly turned into a spectacle. But when you strip away the cameras and the superstar testimony, this is really about a failed marriage with multiple serious abuse accusations that has already led to significant consequences for both parties involved. After six weeks of brutal testimony, bitter details and bombshell accusations, this morning we're expecting closing arguments in the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I'm not sitting in this courtroom laughing, smiling and making snide jokes. I'm not. This is horrible. This is painful. On Thursday, Heard taking the stand for the final time in another contentious cross-examination with Depp's attorney. Ms. Heard, you just testified that this case has been very hard for you. So let's talk about that and why. Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, right? I haven't lied about anything I've been here to say. On the stand, Heard's accused Depp of several instances of domestic and emotional abuse, all of which Depp denies. His legal team trying to point out inconsistencies in Heard's testimony with witnesses contradicting her account. I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. And in taking questions from her own legal team, Heard says the worst parts of her life were now being used to humiliate her. I am harassed, humiliated, threatened every single day. People want to kill me and they tell me so every day. Following today's closing arguments, the jury is expected to begin deliberating, deciding if the 2018 Washington Post op-ed Heard wrote labeling herself a public figure representing domestic abuse contained false claims, and if so, whether those claims damaged Depp's career. What do you hope to reclaim after this is over? Johnny has taken enough of my voice. I have the right to tell my story. I have the right to say what happened to me. I have the right to my voice and my name. And far beyond these celebrities' reputations, there's tens of millions of dollars in play here as Depp is sued for 50 million, heard countersued for 100 million. And the jury will decide whether either of them is owed that money. Michael. All right, thank you so much, Trevor. Let's bring in ABC News Chief Legal Analyst Dan Abrams. And, and, and Dan, we saw Amber Heard put back on the stand by her team was was that a smart decision or what's the strategy behind so it? the first question is did she decide it or did her legal team decide it? remember there are two paths here there's the court of public opinion and there's the jury and they both sides are well aware of both of these paths so she may have asked for it but regardless look i don't think it's going to make a big difference she got to make a final emotional appeal to the jury to talk about how awful this has been for her how hard this has been for her how she wants this to end and yet she was also cross-examined i think it was a less risky move than it was to put johnny depp back on the stand mm. because i thought that the cross-examination of amber heard was so effective that maybe the Depp team didn't need Depp back on the stand at all. Hey, we've just been talking about that. This is this trial's been a lot to take in, right? So for closing arguments here, what is each side focusing on? And then the deliberations, what does the jury focus on? Right. So again, think of court of public opinion and the jury. Um, and I think that both sides are going to be very focused on both. But for the jury, I think you're going to see a lot of arguments from Amber Heard's team on the legal side to say what Johnny Depp has to prove to win this case that not just that it was false, but that she knew it was false. It's a pretty tough legal standard for Johnny Depp to overcome. But you can count on the fact that both sides are also going to point the fingers. They're going to be talking about inconsistencies of the other one, et cetera. And that is both for the jury and for the court of public. And speaking opinion. of the jury, what, what does the makeup, the composition tell you? Can you glean anything? Yeah, well, from so there are nine jurors right now. Two of them will end up being alternates. It's six men and it's three women. You're going to have a seven person jury where they have to be unanimous, all seven, uh, mm -hmm. to come up with a verdict here. I wouldn't read too much into the gender breakdown, right? Because sometimes I find that women are tougher on women, men are tougher on men. Um, so when people say, well, you know, oh, they're sick. I don't know exactly what that will mean. I think this is just going to come down to can seven people agree that, you know, in this particular case, 
that Johnny Depp was defamed. I think it's going to be very tough for Johnny Depp. There's one sort of sliver of an argument with regard to part of the headline, which used the word sexual violence, which is probably his best argument to say that that, that was not proven. But we shall see. Okay. Tough. Kind of he says, she says. Yep. All right. Thanks, Dan. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.